Something you see quite a lot in React applications is a whole host of wrapper elements just put in to satisfy the fact that every React component has to return one HTML element. To demonstrate what I mean by that is this component here, the app component, is returning a header, a paragraph, and then inside this conditional we've got another couple of spans that we want to return. But we have to have one element that surrounds them all. So if I delete this div tag and delete the closing one down there, we're going to get an error in the console. You can see my build tool there is, uh, is shouting at me too. And if we look at the console, you'll see as it says, adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. This means that every component has to have one HTML element at its top level that it outputs. If you go through any large React app, I'm willing to bet you'll find a bunch of divs or spans or some elements being wrapped around purely there just to satisfy this part of React. If we look at the actual output in the elements part of the console, you'll see that we just end up with quite messy div soup. There's loads of divs floating around. This wrapper div here and the one that houses the two spans are only there to satisfy the criteria that each component has to have one element that it outputs. You'll see also if I delete these two divs here that we'll get a similar error. However, in React 16.3, a new component called a fragment was introduced. A React fragment is a way that we can wrap elements inside a component that satisfies React's criteria, but at build time doesn't actually output anything into the DOM. So it's almost like an invisible div. You put it into your code, but it doesn't end up putting a div or any other element into the actual DOM structure. So let's have a look at how we could do that. So we'll find these two spans. I'm going to put a fragment up here. and I'll delete the closing tag, and I'll put it in here. And now we can see that the error has gone away, and let's look at the HTML that's been outputted. So if we inspect the span here, you'll see now that there is no div, there is no element wrapping these, they're just there. But React is happy because in code they're wrapped in a fragment. So now we can take these divs and change them to be a fragment too. So I'm going to use a little VS Code trick called emit update tag and type in fragment. And that will update my divs to a fragment, and I can hit save. And you can see now it's all rendered still on the right hand side, but now we have none of those extra divs that we needed. It's important that with fragments, you can't do anything with them. You can't put event handlers on them. You can't apply CSS classes to them, anything like that. So if there is ever a time where you need to apply CSS or you need to listen out to events, anything like that, you will need a real HTML element. But at anything where the requirements are just to be the containing element to satisfy React, Fragments are a really nice way to do that without cluttering up the DOM that is outputted by your component.